lot of our parents are not happy with the senior high school. A lot of them want to scrap senior high school. They think this is an additional cost. They delay the graduation of our students. They delay the work and employment of our students. And it's additional baon and pamasahe para sa ating mga magulang. We remember that K-12 has three promises. When a senior high school student graduates, he can either go to college, he can either take tech voc, or start a job. But we were looking at the quality of jobs na nakukuha po nitong kumukuha ng tech voc track. Karamihan sila, almost 50%, are entering very elementary occupation. So in other words, we increased the number of schooling. Malaking problema ho ito, pag iisipin ho natin. Dahil dinagdagan nga natin ng two years, pero yung trabaho ni Manila, simpleng-simple lang. So a lot of our parents are saying, why did we add additional two years? But they are not uh, getting the jobs equivalent to that added two years. And the problem there, we discovered, almost 73% of those who take tech voc in senior high school, but they are not certified with either NC1 or NC2. So starting next year, uh, we are proposing in the budget to really include certification NC1 and NC2 for our senior high school students who took TECVO. Para pag-graduate niya ng uh, senior high school, he has two documents. Number one is diploma, number two is NC1 or NC2. And you can use that NC1 and NC2 either to look for a job or to go back to TESDA and take your NC3 and NC4. So mayroon siyang pinupuntahan. Personally, I still believe in the K-12 system because the whole world is implementing K-12 system. Admittedly, it's not perfect. So we're finding ways to reform the K-12 system to make it valuable to our parents.